I got a couple packages delivered today. We're going to do a quick unboxing really fast. Let you guys know where the channel is going to go in the next couple videos. Check me out. We got a couple packages in today. I think I know what this one is because of the weight of it. I think that's going to go with this box right here that I got from Optics Planet. As you can see, take 5% off your next Optics Planet purchase. Use the coupon code. I ain't going to use it, so you guys can go ahead and take that. All right. I think this is for my car, the CM40 that I got the other day. Got a feeling that this, I think this is the holster. And I already opened up this one. This is uh, Talon Grips. All right, this is the rubberized Talon Grips for my car, CM40. All right, so we'll probably install that on the video. I'm just going to open up everything on this one. All right, and I think this is for my FN. I don't know why they sent me such a big old package, but yeah, this is for the FN. This came from Amazon. So we got one, two, three, four, five, five little small packages. We're going to take away one. We got four of them because one of them I already opened. Oh, well. So let's go ahead and get them open. See what's in them. Yeah, I know y'all see it. I know y'all see it. Uh-huh. It's your job to make it home safe. Montijo Tactical. Big shout out to my boy over there at Swamp Tactics. No, y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. I want y'all to see me. Well, let me raise this up. Check my boy out at Swamp Tactics. All right, he's going by his name of Big Swamp. His name is Robert, man. He's a great guy. He's a great friend. He's a brother of mine. Check him out. Y'all like his content, for sure. Let's get back down here. Ow. Lock in. Don't move. Let's see what we got in here. We already know what this is. I'm going to install those in this video. Turn it up right so y'all can see that. I'm going to install this on one of the videos coming up pretty soon on the CM40. I'm going to show you how you do it when you ain't got a heat gun. Stay tuned for that. But throw that back there for now. Let's see what we got. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday, man. I know I am. I'm alive. My family's good. Everybody woke up. Man, ain't that cute? And for the two hard guys out there, man, ain't that cool? Man, that's crazy right there. Look how that looks. I ain't never had a gun as small as the car, CM40. Um, That's going to be my deep concealment when I'm wearing a suit and I'm at work. You know, if I got to go do something or something like that, but it could never be too safe. But that's kind of cute, though, man. I mean, it almost it almost feels and looks like, I know all Kydex feels and looks the same, but it almost looks like, my Vetter holster that I have, I have a Vetter light tuck for my Bursa uh, BP9CC. It almost looks just like it. Um, normally, they use 0 0.8 um, Kydex. It's a little, little flimsy, but once you put it inside your pants on the inside, I'm sure it'll probably stiffen up a little bit. And then before I end the video, I'll go ahead and show you guys how, how the lockup is and everything with the uh with the car cm40 all right yeah so i'm using my kaiser my little kaiser blade uh me and my buddy at swamp tactics big swamp we went ahead and did a trade he got my cameron blade and it's a uh, red carbon fiber you uh, know taking a couple pictures with that one and i ended up liking this one um because i like black for some reason I, I, I just like black you know what i mean it could be a caribbean thing you know what i mean set that side see what we got inside this bag though Bag inside bag, huh? All right, it's all good because I like using my blade. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, that is my holster for my FN. All right, garbage. So, man, people sleep on this company right here. All right, Fierce Defenders. They've changed their name and so like that, but you can still go on FierceDefender.com or you can go on Amazon and check out Fierce Defenders. Man, these people make some great holsters, man. I've got, <laughs> anybody who knows me knows that I've got a lot of guns, okay? And I just started buying, I started buying Fierce Defender for one because I hate having to wait. I'm very impatient. I don't want to wait that long to get stuff in in the mail. Um, 
you order this on Amazon, literally. They sell it for light bearing guns. They sell, every, they sell them all. This is an appendix holster, but you can easily take off this appendix claw and you can actually run it at four o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock. I don't care if it's 1130. You can wear this wherever you want to wear it. Okay. The lockup is always great. I go with them every single time. Okay. My boy, Big Swamp, he, uh, he, he know, he's got T-Rex arms. Um, I have a T-Rex arms. He has tier one concealment. I don't have one of those. I want to get one of their Aggies, but at the same time, I mean, Fierce Defender has never let me down and I love their holsters. Okay. I mean, I've got the PL Mini 2, the PL Mini 1. I'm going to be, I ordered the PL Mini Pro for, um, uh, for my FN. And I mean, I know I'm not going to have to wait more than two, three days, maybe some, this, I ordered this yesterday. It's here today. Okay. And today's date is February 8th. I ordered this on the 7th before 12 o'clock. If not, I would have got it Sunday and it's here today, Saturday. Can't beat that. All right. So the first two packages we got, one was, one was a holster for my CM40 car. And then the other one was for my FN 509. Okay. And they were both holsters. So let's get the big box, see what's inside of there. Cause I know everybody want to see it. Cause I want to see it. Cause I'm excited about it. I love my AR the way it is. But it can always be better. Yeah, so this one right here is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have to do this one right here. So if if I know what this is, that means I know what this is. Let's see what we got. Bust this open. Okay. Box in the bag. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. I think this is an armorer's wrench, okay? See that pillow right there? I had got this for my wife last year. She sleeps with it every night. I love you, baby. Yep, this is exactly what I thought it was. This is an armorer's wrench. Feels good, too. It feels, it feels like it's made out of really good metal. Do you have an AR-15? or an AR pistol, you need one of these. This even works for the uh, the pistol carbines, like the uh, high points. This will work for those as well. You can put a wrench inside here to torque some down. You need this if you're gonna be working on any any type of rifle or pistol at all. Wait a minute, man, that sweater, that hoodie looks pretty good on there, man. I like that. What's y'all see the t-shirt? T-shirt's gonna be coming pretty soon. Wait to check it out. But anyways, like I said, this is my last box. I got this from Optics Planet. This right here, as you can see, take 5% off your next order with OpticsPlanet.com. Use coupon code BXTZ5. Check that out and get a close-up on that one right there. All right. Don't say I ain't never give y'all nothing. Straight like that. I ordered this on i think it was i ordered this on i think it was wednesday yeah i ordered this on wednesday the armorer's ranch i ordered on wednesday um the amazon packages i ordered the other day okay so this is my trinity force it's a trinity force um micro gas block for my ar-15 um, anybody who's going to do like a, a quad Picatinny rail, and if it's going to be anything longer than like six inches, you may need to get one of these. Um, most um, Palmetto State Armory AR-15s, or I think I've seen DPMS also M-locks with them. Um, they come with the really big gas block that has a front um, Picatinny rail on it. Um, I have a DPMS M-lock, and it actually has it on there still. So I ordered a 12-inch. Picatinny rail. Check that out. Because I have a six inch on it right now. Um, but my buddy in the big swamp actually came up. Uh he actually came up on a um on an AR-15 that he got from somewhere, and it actually has a 12 inch um M lock rail on it. Is it M lock on it or is it Picatinny? I think it's M lock. I've got the Picatinny. Yeah, 
Anyways, um, he came up on one for a really decent price, and I like the way it is. I like the way it shoots, and I like the space that you get from when you're holding your rifle. Um, you get more tension. I'm six foot four, so I got really long arms. I can almost grab you guys, you know. Uh, but anyways, it's my gas block. Now, I did not order a new gas tube because I didn't see the need to. It actually will work with the new gas block, so just keep that in mind. And like I said, this is my, uh, this is an empty box now. Just want some receipts. And they gave, this is a, they came, they came with this right here. Let me check that out. It says Devore Shopping Destination. Some 75%, 70 percent off of gear and stuff like that. But yeah, check it out if you guys want to look at that. But like I said, I ordered all of this through Optics Planet. Um, this 12-inch quad Picatinny rail was actually $23 plus tax. And this Trinity Force gas block was like 16 bucks on opticsplanet.com. And together, I spent like $68. That's with shipping and everything, and it took about four days for it to come. You can't beat that, okay? I'm gonna take this out of here and see. I'll see what it look like and see what it do. I'm not gonna open the bag because it's got like Allen keys and screws and stuff like that inside of there, but as you can see, you can see how that looks. And I can already tell I'm going to love this. Now, YouTube would not allow me to show you guys how to install this and take stuff like that down. But I can not unbox it. I can't show you the before and after. So I will be doing that. I will be doing this. If you want to check out my Instagram page, it's Jose28. Check that out. Follow me. I'll follow you back. And um, we'll be a big old happy family. Make it at home by all costs. That's what that looks like. You know what? Let me go ahead and grab my rifle. And I'll show you guys exactly what mine's look like right now. Wait a minute. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. All jokes aside. This is uh this is this is this is my baby, man. This is my this is this is who I cheated on my wife with like eight months ago. Go check out that video. You'll like it. But anyways, let me see. I've got a nice strobe light on there. Solid light. It's about 800 lumens on there. I've got flip-up irons. Okay. I've got a Bushnell TRS-25 on here. Same. I got a flip, flip up, flip down. Let's see. Let's see what else with those. I got an angle foregrip on here. Now I don't grab it here. I normally grab from here, but as you can see, you see this is only six inches. Okay. So I like to grab from out here if I could to keep it here. Okay. So. But this is my baby. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, as you can see, that's about another six inches on top of what I already have. That's going to bring me out to about right here. And I think that's good enough. Also, this is a, fle a free float. <laughs> this is a free float Picatinny rail. Okay? So I don't, you can look on YouTube and check and see, but... What I've been told, um, free float Picatinny rails or rails period, if it's free float, it actually gives you, it's, it, it calls for more accuracy. Um, your barrel is less restricted and it also, it, it prevents barrel warp. Look, look up to it, look into it. All right, so I'll be installing that. Uh, I don't know, when, don't know when, but I'll most likely be installing that probably sometime this weekend. If not, I'll probably do it today. Um... Then, of course, I've got my stock. Let me see what else I got on here. Um, this came from Big Swamp over there at Swamp Tactics. And if anybody's wondering, he's Big Swamp on Tactics. All right, so check the channel out. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff together. All right, this is a Blue Force gear. This is a Vickers Combat. This is a Vickers Combat sling. I might like it because I can pull this, make it smaller, make it longer. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take nothing but a second. So, check that out. All right, this is my this is this is one of my babies. This ain't the only one I got. The other ones, you have to subscribe, like, and share for me to show you my other guns. Got a lot of them. Anybody who knows me, tell them through the comments. <laughs> if anybody was wondering where I'm from and trying to understand my accent, from South Miami Dade. You hear me? 
305-786. All right. Cutler Ridge, Homestead, Florida City, Karen City. Everybody stand up, man. You know what I'm saying? You both in the rep that. All right. Show you guys how these uh, guns fit. Uh, you see this the car CM40 right there. It's completely safe. Man, for a little gun, boy, that that is one hell of a recoil spring. But anyways, this is the holster for it. Fits it. Lockup's pretty good. Actually, lockup's actually really good. And as you see, it does not have a retention spring. A retention screw, I'm sorry. Doesn't have a retention screw. So it most likely will loosen up as it gets on, but it is it is very, very tight. It's very, very tight. It actually feels very nice too. So that's a good one. There's that. Slide you aside. And for the baby. Nothing in here at all. For my safety, my safety people. It's nothing in here at all. As you can see, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right. All right. Let's see how you fit. I know y'all heard that. I, I know you heard that. Woo-hoo-hoo! Fresh out the package. Fresh fresh out the package. Look at Bam! Let's do it! Lockos very nice. As you can see, I actually got I actually got it with space for a threaded barrel. Like I said, this is the FN509 Tactical, so... I got this, you know, I took the threaded barrel out of it, and uh, I put the uh, regular barrel inside of it. You see how it comes up, the sweat shield. I got a mid mid sweat shield on there. All right. And it almost looks like, you know, if you take the gun out of it, it looks like there's a gun already in it. All right. Like I said, if you take this logo off, which I would never do that because I feel like they have great... 100% holsters. Like, their holsters are are great. And if you think I'm joking, give me one second. You know what? It's live action right here. All right. Set. That's one of my Glocks. One of my Glocks. All right. Let me see what else I got up here. Ah. Don't touch that dial. Don't touch that dial. Cause I got what you want. I got what you need. Can I get another shot? This time I make it hot. Another one. All right. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. You can see. You can see, all right. Fierce Defender, all right. Palladium, as you see, FD. See, the logo has changed. Same exact company, though, so don't get it twisted, all right. This here, all light, PL Mini. This is the first series, you see. 400 lumens right there. This is my SIG P320. All right. SIG P320 compact, 9 millimeter. All right. I did my own little stipple job. I did this about a year and a half ago. I got a video up on how to do the stipple job on these. It's very easy to do it versus the Glock. I'll show you my Glock here in a minute. Listen to it. Listen to it. Listen. Ooh. Listen to it. Listen to it. Y'all ain't messing with it. No, I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. They ain't ready. They ain't ready. All right. Now, see, I don't got confused on these right here. Let's see which one's which. Oh, this one here goes to the FM. Slide that. So, ooh, boy. Slide that off in there. All right. This is my work in progress. This is going to be what's called my Gucci Glock. All right. So, as you can see, show you all that right there. I got a copper barrel on the way, okay? I got a copper barrel on the way. All right, I'm going to have a Wolf custom slide coming. All right, so once that's all done, I'm actually going to got a copper extractor coming as well. So once that's all said and done, you'll get that going. All right, it's a Magpul Magwell. All right, 
Double undercut. This is Olight PO Mini 2. All right. Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. And that what P. Diddy said. Let's go ahead and make this gun safe. Shit that right there. All right. Woo. Listen to it. Man. See that right there, man? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five fierce defender holsters. All together, wait time, 10 days. 10 days, if you add them all. The one for my FN, ordered that yesterday, came in one day. Sig, P320, I got this three, like two or three years ago. All right, the gun was still a fairly new gun. Nobody made a holster for for the Olight PL Mini. Fierce Defenders, Raven Concealment, and r, &R holsters. They're the only ones I could find that made one. Not T-Rex, not Tier 1, okay? LLOD holsters also made one, but I I couldn't part ways with over 100 bucks. I, I just couldn't do it. $36 for the SIG P320 with the claw. The claw also comes with two different size two different size tractor teeth. That's why I call them tractor teeth. All right, it's the part that goes connected to the claw. As you can see, connects to the claw, pushes you against your belt. Extra distance, depending on the size person you are. Okay, and these are all guns that I carry on a regular basis, except for the FN. I haven't put enough rounds through it or the car to actually carry these and, you know, put in and, you know, trust my life and my family's life with them. All right. My Glock. Got like, I got over a thousand rounds through this gun. <laughs> Shoots like a dream. And this Glock actually has factory trigger, factory insides. Nothing in here has been changed out. Okay. I think you're going to put your life on something and put your life on, then put your life on something that's, that's, that's straight from the factory. All right. I have changed my sights. Sights are different on it. Okay. Uh, but everybody who has a Glock does the same exact thing. All right. Leave that right there. I'm going to go ahead and set you aside. Bring everybody up top. So, you've seen some of my gear. You've seen the holsters and accessories that I've bought for. Um, I greatly appreciate if you stop stopping in, checking out my stuff. Um, remember, this, it's, it's Jose, and it's your job to make it home safe. Y'all bless up. I'm out.